literally out of breath. You know what? Never mind. In all seriousness, hi, welcome to today's video. I honestly had completely different plans for this video, but that's okay. Chase is leaving tomorrow to go for the baseball season, and he came over before this, and I was like, you know what? I had on this cute little top. Actually, I'll show you the top. I just got it at Zara. I'll try to find it and link it. It was so cute, and I was like, oh, cute green sweater vest vibes. Looked Gorgina on me. But I was like, I'm going to put this on and be casual. I did my hair with a thermal brush. It was from Amazon. Honestly, you guys, it does look like a blowout. But without further ado, hi, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be trying my new products from Sephora. If you would like to see what all products that I got, I might be doing a video. But if I don't, I did post a video already on TikTok. So you can go over there and watch. I'll have it linked down below. You're welcome. But I got a bunch of new products. I've been wanting to try them out, test them out, etc. And so I figured that's what we would do. We would just have a cute little testing new products thing. I am on a time crunch because I have things to do and I have therapy at 3.30 and then I have to film um, two sponsor videos. So, you know, busy girl. Also, let me say this, my face ain't facing today um, because I don't know why. I think I don't really know. I think I ate too much yesterday or like too much sodium and my face just bloated. I even used my new face and it was like, girl, you just, you just ain't looking your hottest today. So anyway, that's that. I'm gonna start off with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. You guys know I've used this a thousand times. I use mine in the shade 5. Yes, shade 5. I like to use this as a bronzer. I am quite tan, so it's not all that bronze right now, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about that. <laughs> Pardon. And as always, my shop AOA sponges. This is pretty much my go-to makeup look every single day. I can do this legit in probably, I would say, six to seven minutes, depending if my face and everything is cooperating. But for the most part, I can do it really quickly and it's just simple, easy, effective, etc. We just got back from Mexico two days ago, literally two days ago. So I am pretty tan also. If you can see my perfume collection, my everyday perfume collection, that's what this is. And it used to just be on a little tray that's over there and then it grew to some perfumes outside the tray and now it's just like literally taking over the entire piece of furniture. Also, does anybody else have this? I always have this one spot that even when I'm in the sun, it doesn't tan. It looks like I just like sit in the sun like this, but I in fact don't. So I have a bronzer that I'm gonna be using. Actually, it's technically not bronzer, I don't guess. It is this, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Volume 3, but I have mine in the shade, I guess three, because it it's the darkest one that they have. And I was like, that'll be gorgeous for bronzer. How pretty. I just hope that it's not like crazy pigmented and looks, you know, insane. So we'll see about that. The makeup look that I'm going for today, super casual, super cute. Nothing fancy, nothing too crazy or wild. I think I do need to spot conceal, so I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani concealer in the shade 9. I really like this concealer for spot concealing, but if you're wanting to blend it in with a sponge, it's probably not the best thing. Um, because it's just more of like a, I feel like it's more of an artist kind of product, like a makeup artist would use this. So sometimes it's easier to go in with a brush and then with a sponge to diffuse the edges, you know? Also, my face is peeling a little bit and I do have some freckles. Also, I have perioral dermatitis that sometimes comes out whenever I've been in the sun or, you know, something along those lines, which clearly I have been in the sun. So she's showing up, which is literally rude. Also, I want to try this. I got these in the Sephora cell. This is the Gisu or Gisu. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the watermelon sugar one. And it is beautiful and stunning. Oh, wow. It does. Oh, this is a heck of a lot thicker. I mean, a heck of a lot thicker. Probably good, though, because the other one leaked. Um, I have the original. And people hated the smell, and they hated that it leaked. I also hated that it leaked because it was an oil, like a very oily oil. So, I think that would be beautiful over a lip liner or something. But that's really pretty. I also picked this up. This is the Laneige. Everybody knows what this is. The Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I got it in this shade or scent, Sweet Candy. I think they're all the same. They're all just clear. But anyways, that's, that's that. I'm going to go in with my new Hourglass Bronzing Palette. And I'm going to be so light-handed. It's not even funny. Like, I'm talking incredibly light-handed. I mixed all the colors. Oh, that is really pretty. But I just don't want it to, like, be crazy looking. I feel like because it's a 
baked powder, it's going to be pigmented as crap, but pretty. I don't know. Am I crazy for this? I'm also probably going to put a little bit of this on my eyes, just because like you guys know, I love to use whatever bronzer that I'm using also in my eye crease. I just think it makes everything look a little bit more cohesive, gives some definition to the eye, etc. Cute. We'll see if I need to add more or whatever the case may be. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to use my concealer. And also somebody told me that they were going to stop making this concealer. And I was like, that's literal blasphemy. I would die. This is the Elf Flawless Brightening Concealer. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's very similar to like the YSL Touche Claw um, Secret Brightening Pen or just Brightening Pen, whatever it's called. Maybe I added the word secret to it. I don't know. But anyway, I love it. It barely provides you with like any coverage, but it just brightens up the area. It looks beautiful. So if you're going for like a no makeup makeup or you're just like doing light makeup like I am today, it looks beautiful. And I'm like, why would you get rid of that? But then that, like every brand does that. They're like, oh, you love this? This is your favorite thing ever? Gone. Okay, perfect. Thanks for absolutely nothing. Slay. Major. Slay. My back hurts, you guys. So freaking bad. It's not even funny. I had a rib pop out of place. I guess like two weeks ago or something like that. And I went to the chiropractor and he popped it back in place. But I'm telling you right now, my back has never hurt worse. Oh, Frick. Anyways. I can smell my lips. And I feel like that has to be like really strong. Like a really strong strawberry smell to smell your freaking lips. Watermelon. Not strawberry. Also, got this. I'm so excited about this because I use this one all the time. This is the, you've seen it before. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Lot Wand in the shade Pinkgasm. And then they have Pinkgasm Sunset. So slight. I was like, I feel like this will be so amazing for being tan, which conveniently I am. So, also some people have trouble with the packaging, but I'm like, just learn how to use this kind of packaging and you don't have trouble with it. You know what I mean? Like you just push up a little bit and then close the packaging. Twist the thing. I don't know, it gets people, some people down. This is my favorite brush to use it with. This is the e.l.f. Duo... Dolended blending brush, I think. Looks like so. It's just really good. I feel like I would pass away without it. Not to be dramatic, but. Matte Costa Riche. Oh my gosh, my ear itch is so bad. Matte Costa Riche is literally my favorite eyeliner, probably of all time, I think. And like the color. And so I just go over the top lash line with Costa Riche and smudge it. I feel like it gives a lot of definition to my eyes. I feel like it looks really pretty. It makes my hazel eyes pop. Also, I get comments all the time. Like, obviously you're not in person, so you don't see my eyes. You don't see the color of my eyes. You don't see every single detail. It's literally via camera. So, anyways, I'll have people freaking message me and be like, your eyes are blue. I'm sorry. Shut up. Like, as if I can't see my own freaking eyeballs. Like, why do you feel the need to comment that? Are you literally so down bad that you have to, like, comment my own eye color to me? Have you ever just thought about not? You ever thought about minding your own business? If you have, if you want to comment that bad, like, go stare in the mirror and tell yourself your eye color. Like, my name's Miranda. I have brown eyes. You know? Brian, you get Botox. What is that? Absolutely not. Abs Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Nope, nope, nope. I'm texting Anara immediately. I've never even had Botox on my forehead, but. Okay, so now that I had that smudged out on my upper lash line, to give a little bit of definition to my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this Victoria Beckham stick. I have hair literally everywhere. This Victoria Beckham stick, and this is in the shade Oyster. And I just pop it right on my inner corners to give like a little oomph, a little, you know, something, something to them. And I'm going to go in with my new blush, which I'm so freaking excited about. If I can find my blush brush. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Blush. I saw this whenever I was in LA and I saw it in person. I was like, oh my gosh, I want that so bad. But it was right before the... Um, it was right before the Sephora sale, and I was like, I'm not going to let myself buy that blood if I'm not. If, like, the Sephora sale's about to happen. So, we'll see how it looks. 
looks Gorgina to me. Love. So pretty. I do think I'm going to use that bronzer underneath my eyes. Where'd I put it? Be honest. Where's it at? Here it is. Um, and just mix the color so it looks like I have a little bit more definition under there. If you put like makeup, eyeshadow, bronzer, etc. underneath your eye line, like I'm doing, it just genuinely makes you look like you did your makeup. It's like, oh, she knows how to do eyeshadow. You don't have to know how to do eyeshadow. But you put it under here and you blend it out and you smudge it out. Guess what? Fake it. Fake it till you make it. That's what I always say. Not really. I just said that, but you know what I mean. Then I'm going to go in with this Essence. Uh, it's like basically the Fake Awake. It's Extreme Lasting Pencil and I'm on the shade Silky Nude. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. Cutie, cutie. Major Slay. And then I'm going to go in with my black eyeliner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners ever. This is from Hourglass Cosmetics. You guys have seen me use this before. And it's just a black eyeliner. That just makes your eyelashes look so much thicker. I'm going to use this. I got a restock of the Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler. I just think that this is the best eyelash curler. And people kept saying that. They were like, oh, this is the best. This is the best. And I wouldn't listen because I was like, I'm getting, you know, $3, $4 eyelash curlers at TJ Maxx and Walmart and all the places where you can find them for, you know, cheap. And then I bought it. And I don't remember why that I bought it per se. I don't remember what person like talked me into it. I think that they were talking about how it's perfect for people with almond shaped eyes or it really gets all of your lashes in there. And I have always had a problem where I don't feel like it's getting all my lashes, you know? And so I bought this one and it has, it's just wonderful. Like look how big, you know what I mean? Like there's plenty of surface area. There's plenty of room for you to get all your lashes in and give them a good clamp. So I used to never curl my lashes. And then I started and I was like, why have I not, why, why did I never not do this. Okay, for my mascara, I'm going to use the one that I've used for years. It's one of my favorites. This is the Ilia Fullest Volume Mascara. They stopped making it for a while, and I don't know if people like or rioting. Probably so. I was also one of those people. But I always restock this in the sale. It's absolutely wonderful. It's just, wait a minute. If this is different, I'm literally going to contact them. So this is the one from before. The one that I have had in my makeup bag. This one. And this is the new one. They have different textures. Please, baby Jesus, don't let them. Oh, it's different. Mm, mm hmm. It sure is. What is it? This is not funny. This is not funny at all. Maybe they didn't. Anyways, I'm going to try this mascara. I'll let you know if it's the same. I'm kind of terrified, honestly. It's not a joke. People start changing stuff that you have an emotional attachment to. It's just not funny. It's just, <laughs> it's just really not funny. I'm telling you right now, the brush just doesn't feel the same. Like, I've used this mascara for years. And just the way that it's going on, the what, like, the sound that it's making. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't really care. The sound that it's making against my lashes. I'm like, who are you? Because I don't know. I've never known you. And it is giving, like, the same vibe. Like, the same voluminous, like, effect. But I'm like, why the frig did you change anything? Like... I don't understand. Can you imagine the rage? You know how people have like a sick attachment to like the Lancome uh, Monsieur Big mascara and like L'Oreal Telescopic or like Estee Lauder has their double knot repair. Can you imagine if they were just like, we're changing the bottle. We're changing the formula. Do you know the rage? The literal rage that would go on? You don't. That also happened to me with my bra. You know how, like, it's so hard to find a bra that you're just like, oh, this is amazing. Like, this is my favorite one. It doesn't feel like I have one on. It's, you know, supported. And, like, it's just an amazing bra. What that what they do? Stop making my favorite bra. I want prison for these people. No bail. Like, in the nicest way or the, like, in the nicest way or the scum of the earth. You know? Would you believe me if I said it was an hour and a half later? It's not even that long. Like, I was going to, like, be so dramatic and it's not even that long. Um, anyways, I got an email while I was sitting here and it was like, your therapist is on. And I was like, wait a minute, Susan. <laughs> it's so early. But it wasn't. Um, at 3.30, it was at 3. So, I had to run down there and then had my therapy appointment. We had literally nothing to talk about because, honestly, everything's going great. Thank God. Literally, thank God. And then my aunt came to pick up a bunch of clothes I'm getting rid of. So, period. But... 
I'm so out of breath. My makeup does look pretty, I think. Also, my hair, you guys, let me skate you back. I feel like my hair looks so pretty today. And she was like, I've never seen your hair look that pretty. She was like, the color, everything that looks stunning. And I was like, stop, really? I'm just kidding. I'm not, but you know. Anyways, so I figured I would do my lips with you guys. You know, the cherry on top, the lips. And I'll show you my favorite lip combo of recent. These are been, gosh, my ear itches. What the heck? These have been my go-to lip liners. This is the shade Love Trap from Charlotte Tilbury. And I had never used it. And then I started using it. And I was like, dang, I'll never stop again. Um, it's gorgeous and beautiful and stunning. And it's just such a beautiful color. I feel like it fits my skin tone really well. It's just super nice. And you guys know Charlotte Tilbury formulas are just elite. When it comes to lip liners, honestly, really anything. I love Charlotte Tilbury. So I use this shade. And then I also use the shade Whirl from MAC, which is like an OG shade. If you have been around in the makeup community for a while, you know that Whirl is just that girl, okay? <sighs> so first, let me scooch you in. First, I go with the shade Love Trap. I feel like the way you do your lip liner is so important. Like I follow the bridge of my lip, bridge, sure, of my lip the whole time. And then whenever I get to the corner, I go like this so that I can get the crease. Because a lot of people just don't open their mouth and they color down and so it makes it look like you're frowning, which is not the vibe. Okay, so that's do my outline with that color. It's beautiful, obviously. And then I go in with MAC Whirl. I keep wanting to say cork, but it is in fact Whirl. And then I kind of just color like this on the outer corner down here. Just to add a little bit more dimension and dark color around the perimeter. And that's what it looks like. Then, now let me tell you guys this. Because I was so, I used this for the first time and I was like, ow. And then after that I was like, wait a second, that's gorgeous and beautiful and stunning. This is so, so nice. I think this is one of the top lip products that has honestly ever been launched. I think it's so beautiful. This is the Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasm. And this is in the shade Pillow Talk. I was so over, literally, like, also this packaging is bulky. I mean, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. But I was like, the packaging's bulky. I'm, like, over the whole, like, plump gasm, you know, everything. Pink gasm. Blah, blah, blah. All kinds of gasms. Relax with that. But this is so beautiful, guys. Look. And it smells so yummy. How stunning. Genuinely. How beautiful is that lip combo? And I love the fact that it has a little point. So you can really get the edges. Gorgeous. Let me turn on my beauty light. I don't know why it's called a beauty light. I feel like it's just a lot. Turn it down just a tad. So you guys can see what it looks like. I just think that it looks so nice and pretty and beautiful. Um, here's up close of the makeup. Obviously my skin's kind of going through it. But I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks nice. Look at the lip combo. Talk about some juicy plump lips that create. I mean. Maybe it is a plump gasm, you know? Maybe it is. So anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hope that you guys enjoyed the little haul, kind of, slash like using new products and all the things. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Um, let, me know what, let me know what other videos that you guys want to see. I know that I have been kind of all over the place with posting, but I definitely want to get back into posting. I also kind of have a little surprise that I'm recording next week. Um, today's Friday, so yeah, it'll be next week. And I'm really excited. I think you guys will enjoy it. I think it will be beneficial and I think that it'll be something very different for, from my channel and unexpected, you know? So we will see. You guys will see. But anyways, that's it. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day. As always, the products will be linked down below as well as all my social handles. So make sure to follow me over there. And if you have any questions, let me know.